simple ingredient. Now, over the past two decades, there's been a sharp rise in people receiving a diagnosis for ADHD, with men and boys particularly affected, which is interesting. So, if you're concerned that you, you or your child might have the condition, um, expert Sarah Wally is here with everything you need to know. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. Back. Lovely, Lovely to here. see you. It does seem to be um, a topic of conversation more now than ever. Yeah. Why is that, do you think? Yeah. I think there's huge raised awareness. You've got, I think it's about 11.4 billion hits on TikTok if you put yeah. in at ADHD, everyone's searching it up, there's raised awareness and there's reduced sort of stigmatisation about it, so people are, are definitely much more interested. Mm. Um, also, there have been changes to the definitions. There used to be ADHD and then there was ADD, which was without the hyperactivity. Now, as of the past few years, they've been put together again, right. so everyone's coming under a much broader categorisation of ADHD. So, as a result, there are many, many more stimulant meds being prescribed. Um, yeah. Can I talk to you, just start off with diagnosis, actually, yeah. because I know people who do have it get irritated when they go, oh, everyone has a bit of that. Maybe people do have a bit of it, but there's a big yeah. difference between actually having it and having certain elements of it, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, how do you know your diagnosis is right and, and how do you yeah. go about getting it? When do you know you should look for a diagnosis? Yeah, I think it's when it starts really getting in the way of your everyday life. So, so schoolwork being very mm. disruptive at school or at home, you know, your, your work. As you said, everyone can be a bit hyper, everyone can be inattentive, everyone can be a little bit fidgety. But when it really starts interrupting with your life, you need to get a diagnosis. The problem is the wait list on the NHS yeah. is huge. And it's it's of sort of OK for children. For adults, it can be four or five years. So what's happened is a load of private clinics have popped up saying, we'll give you an ADHD diagnosis. I saw this on Panorama. It's quite it? terrifying. Yeah, it's it quite really terrifying. Is. But a proper diagnosis for ADHD can only be with a psychiatrist, OK, not with any other health yeah. professional. And it should take about three hours, and they should start really looking into your background, any other mental health problems. But there are these clinics popping up charging, you know, seven, eight hundred pounds a time mm. and they give you a 30 minute questionnaire and say here you are go and get a drug prescription and the, it's there's, quite a, terrifying. there's also a series of questionnaires aren't there that you you, you wouldn't even know you've been questioned about ADHD yeah. you know yeah. all this weird kind of behavior and then they analyze that so what are the little elements of it that the little red flags that make you go actually no this isn't just a little quirk yeah are, are there behaviorisms that you need to really look at yeah and, and go and seek help for well I think if it's, as I said, if it's ongoing and it's chronic, it's not just from time to time, because the point about this is it's beyond conscious control. OK, so it can't just be that they behave mm -hmm. in a certain way in one place and then they're perfectly fine in another. If it's ongoing, I think that's one of the things to look for. Um, there are different types of ADHD. So there's inattentive um, and distractible. And then there's very hyperactive, very impulsive. Now, sometimes the two things go together, and the majority of diagnoses mm -hmm. are where they go together, but, but they can be separate. Um, so, yeah, so you're looking out for the extremes of behaviour, I think. So the impulsive one, we call that the fun one. The fun, the fun one, yeah. one, well... It is, I mean, some of these qualities, people say, this is what makes them unique yes. and different and special. So, you know, what someone will say is an issue, other person will embrace as their own individuality. Do you know what? I've got a great story on that. I did, have you ever heard of Gillian uh, Lynn, is her name? Only because I read this story this Only morning. Only because you read this story. <laughs> well, it's, I think but this it is, is a, a great really story. important really story. Good, okay? yeah. When are things a problem? And when is it just us trying to sort of straight jacket people into yeah. a particular category. Being diverse is fabulous. So it's the story of this little girl that she was seven years old. This is way back in the 1930s, yeah. before they even invented ADHD. And her mum just didn't know what to do. She was being disruptive at school. She was leaping around the place. She couldn't concentrate. I think she was known as Wiggly Bottom in the classroom. <laughs> yeah. And her mum took her to see a top psychiatrist up in Harley Street. And they sat there for 20 minutes in an oak panelled room. And this little girl was trying to sit on her hands and trying to control herself. And the mother was explaining all the terrible things that were going on at school. The psychiatrist was nodding sagely. And then he said to the mother, well, can we just have a little word outside? You don't mind staying here, Gillian, just for a second. We're just going to go outside. And as he walked out, he flipped the radio and he put some music on. And he said to the mother, just take a look at your daughter. She started dancing. She danced on his desk. She leapt off his desk. <laughs> she twirled around the yeah. room. And he said, um... Mrs. Lynn, your daughter doesn't have a problem. She's a born dancer. Yeah. Now, this lady ended up being becoming sort of Broadway royalty, really. She ended up uh, choreographing Cats. She choreographed I mean, Phantom of the Opera. No. But, but my point is we mustn't straightjack it. Yeah, because it was in her, that was, was her destiny her. to be there. Yeah. Um, Treatment-wise, just very quickly, because I know we're going to be doing a phone-in later where yeah. we'll discuss more of this, but medication, um, diet, there's a lot on TikTok at the moment saying you can yeah. control ADHD through diet. Yeah. 
I guess everybody's individual. Everyone's individual, but I do want to speak about this because I think it's really important work. I mean, we're, we, at the Key Clinic, we're trying to pioneer a completely new approach to this. And it's because we look at prescription meds, uh, uh, stimulant meds. Yeah. It's quadrupled the prescription of these things over the last, for, um, over the last decade. Mm. And I'm seriously concerned that it's become over-medicalised and more and more people are being put on these medications longer term. Yeah. Now, some people absolutely have to stay on them and, and there's no way they can come off. But some amazing research has been carried out by the Walsh Institute in the States. And this very old biochemist has been analysing the blood biochemistry of those with ADHD and comparing it to those that mm -hmm. don't. He found 90% just happen to have way too much copper in their bloodstream and not enough zinc. Yeah. So we now know that results in underproduction of dopamine, the thing in your brain you need mm -hmm. to concentrate, overproduction of norepinephrine and adrenaline. So the treatment that, that we use is nutrient therapy. So we're basically targeting those biochemical imbalances by giving the body what it needs, what it needs. Wow. to rebalance itself. It's very and it means, I mean, the Walsh Institute's crunched their data. They get 85% of people not no longer needing over time under their doctor's supervision incredible. coming off those Amazing. meds. And not everyone can come off their meds, mm -hmm. but the side effects can be really bad long term mm -hmm. of, of being put it's on these things. It's having that right information, isn't it? It's right having the do. right info. Do you know what would be amazing today if yeah. people watching at home yeah. who think maybe they've got ADHD in the house, and I'm not even talking about their kids, there's adults yeah. too, yeah. could kind of watch the item later on with you and get a sense whether they should do something about it. So we're going sure. to talk about that later yeah. on. If anyone has questions about ADHD, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they can get in touch with you. You're going to help with a big range of issues, aren't you? Yeah, lovely. Good. Yeah, I'd love good to stuff. do that. Thank Great. you. Great. Thank you so good. much. Well, if that's you and Craig has just described you, do give us a call or anything around this subject. Um, give us a call on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over.